Tales from Cal's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time. Welcome back. This is where I talk about all my stitchy stuff. Um, I've got my candle lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts and positivity. Know that Cal has got her candle lit for you and that's my jasmine. And I'm going to just put it up there where we don't set anything on fire. I've got my magazine, the number one for designs cross stitcher magazine to go through after so we'll just put that up where should we put that put it over there that'll do i've got a cup of tea and my new mug my hubby bought me the other week so get yourself a cup right you're going to be proud of me guys you're going to be really really proud of me yeah look well you'd be slightly proud of me so I, I haven't completely caught up with peppermint sal, but you know I've been really, really struggling. And I mean really struggling with this. But I caught up till this week. So I'm dead chuffed with myself. So this is 2020. Right, see so I've got all the pattern there. A bit tatty. And I did to there. I got to there. Fine. Loved everyone, got to there, fine. And then you have a long one that goes right across. And I couldn't do that. And I'll give you a quick look. It was that one. And I couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. And I kept doing it, frogging it, doing it, frogging it, doing it, frogging it. And then I was talking to Danielle and Julie, the Yorkshire crafter. And they said, Julie said, I've just done my own. And Danielle says, yeah, do what Julie does. Just do your own. Just forget about it for a week. And then pick it up whenever you feel like it and do your own. Well, I was in Crystal's Zoom. So I did some in hers and in Shaleen's Zoom with all the gals and guys in them. And thank you to all everybody that was in them because they helped me. But, I'll get it right way around. Look, I did my own 2020 style. So I made them up. I don't even know if there's a proper stitch, but <laughs> I don't care. I did that. And I did that square. So I've just got that square to catch up on. But I am so chuffed. So look. What do you think? Do you think it, do you think it looks okay? Do you think it... It'll, if I put it down there. Can you see it down there? Do you think it'll blend in? I've got me, me mag, magnet. Did you think it'll blend in alright what I've done? So I'm quite chuffed. I like it. And I suppose that's all that matters. And I'm chuffed that I managed to do that one as well. So that was my Peppermint Purple Sal. You can't get this one free now, but you can buy it on their site. I downloaded it. Well, I, when they put it out beginning of 2020, I started downloading it. And then I finished downloading it the last week. So I'd got them all. But I didn't get around to doing it. I started a few stitches and that was it. And then, that's my planner for 2021. I've got all the what threads we need on there, what colour threads out of the thread pack. I bought the 2021 Stitch Along Stitching Threads from Peppermint Purple themselves. So you can buy the kit. So that's all the threads I need to complete this. And I chose the Rectangular. There is a square version, which was a bit, looked a bit too tricky for me. So, and I bought the one for this year and then I did the same on this one I was stuck I couldn't do the border I didn't know what to do so I hadn't done that I hadn't done any of these squares down here it was just completely at a standstill and I was getting um, no on that one I hadn't done any Hang on, let me show you where is it I'm getting confused now this is what happens when you get old on this one, I'd only done a bit of that and a bit of that. So I've done that square, that square, that square, that square, and that one on that one. So I need to carry on with them, plus doing that and that on that one. Right, now we get square. This one, I'd already done all the squares, I've forgotten. But I just couldn't figure out how to do that. Because I've done that one on that one. What do you do on this one? Because I didn't want to do the same. So I did that. So, um, where is it? What did I base it off? Was it off one of these? I think I just looked at the squares and thought, what can I do 
that one's a bit raised up and down but don't matter and that's what I come up with anyway with a 2021 so I think it looks all right it's a bit I didn't get the, the even I get it eat quite even so three four five two four five because I forgot about the one because I split the letters down the middle but then I forgot that the one's only going to take one thing instead of two lots so I've got that extra in that V extra there but it doesn't matter and that one I love doing and that one is going to be that square as well on here for 2020 so I might do that one again on there so yeah so I know I can do that one so yeah so if you've not done black work go on and have a go I know somebody that's doing it all in black the whole lot all these everything in black and it looks you think mm, is it gonna it does look amazing absolutely amazing so you don't have to stick with the colors you could pick this pattern up this one is still free pick it up decide which you're going to do the rectangle or the square choose your own colors mix and match loads of people have done that and then there's the patterns that you've got to do so yeah so i'm chuffed so thank you ladies and gents that were in the zooms because if it wasn't for you and your encouragement i still wouldn't have uh, got up to date well not up to date but up to this i've just got a week left to do on them one so yeah so put it in this steelch bag and then right, my mermaid I haven't done much and I have got a thread on her I did I think it was 12 stitches <laughs> but it's 12 stitches more than I had last week in her so you know not might not be a lot but it's a start so I still got to come down here and then the skull is going to be there and then I've got to come down here as well so I'm probably probably halfway done with that week so I'm probably going to be four weeks behind on the first of June but four months behind but hey ho you know we don't we don't mind we're just doing what we can do and then this i'm really enjoying this one as well this one i did in the zoom as well when i done them and this one let me get me a picture um lisa bradley's doing um anything gnome well she's doing a diamond painting gnome on her diamond painting sparkles diamond paintings on facebook and she's always do, also doing on her crafty cove um, anything gnome. So this is mine for that. I must put a photo in. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Ignore the colours because I got the colours all last backwards. Don't ask me how. I have no idea. Yeah, but it's not going to be bright and cheerful like that one. It's going to be oldie worldy like that one. So I've filled in all this. And how many stitches did I do on this one? 259 stitches. I made a bit of a boo-boo here on these little ones here, the icicle, because I changed all the threads on this. Because I think it was, was it DMC? Let me have a look. What was it? It was, they were DMC colours and I changed them to, which is the first time I've ever done a colour comp change, to Weeks Dye Works. And that's why I got a little bit, confused on my colour changes but I, I'm not worried now I'm not worried and I didn't realise that this if you have this and you're like me <laughs> I had to ask because I had no idea right, if I get a week style out you'll see because these on these are slightly thicker so if you look at that thread and then I find you one thread of that. Can you see? The white is near enough double the thickness. So I did have to ask, because I, you know, you know, don't ask, you don't know. 
the girls on the Zoom, and it's Shaleen, bless her, she said, no, you just use one strand, because I didn't know if I'm still supposed to use two strands, and I thought it's going to be a bit thick, because it doesn't tell you on the other, it tells you what it is. I didn't know, and because I'm new, because I've got a black one of these, and I've got a white one of these, um, and I didn't know. And I want to get some more colours of these because they're ideal. Um, Becky from Becky's Madness Crafts um, got me onto these. The white one, she sent me some stuff to do my balloons. And I liked it. But that's quite nice. But it looks, there is a, there is a one thread and there are two threads. Don't look at how neat my stitches are because this is being done in, in hand. And I don't care. I, I enjoyed this one. I'm enjoying doing this one. So that's my, this was a creative house pattern on Etsy. Um, does it say on there? No, it doesn't say, but it's definitely an Etsy pattern. And it was, oh, don't create, I think it must be creative house that the Etsy name is. I've got loads, look. <laughs> the ones I've not seen. Yeah, I went a little bit known mad. I've got a blue one and I've checked, converted it to the week's dye blue as well. So I've got that one. Then I thought, oh, I better get a Halloween one. So I've got the Halloween. And then I thought I better get a Merry Christmas one. Because, you know, you're going to have seasonal. So I've got them as well. <laughs> and now I've seen loads more. There is, um, I can't remember the website. If you were in my live on Sunday, they were enabling again. I always do on my live. There was, um, one of the sites had pirate gnomes and things like that. Oh, and they were so cute. So yes, I will be buying a few more known patterns, I think. So let me just shove that in that bag there. So that's all I've managed to do this week, which is, you know, not bad seeing as last week I couldn't hardly stitch at all. But I did get them done. And I remember that you lot saying, one stitch at a time, that's all you need to do. So this is to show Danielle and anybody else that were in my live a couple of months ago. They're enabling this one. And my Millie, I like it because I love Baba Yora. But my Millie went potty when she saw this. And she was chatting in on the live. And the lovely Danielle very kindly gifted her the money to go over to Etsy and get this pattern. So, when you saw it last, she'd done that much. That was gifted to me, that cover minder from Max. I'm painting with Max. And Millie pinched that. This I bought off Etsy, Millie pinched that. This frame was off Etsy, I think, Millie pinched that. <laughs> Bless her, but she'd done that much. Well, she finished, her last exam was Wednesday morning. Her last day in school was yesterday. So guess what she did last night? Yay! So she put a couple of hundred stitches in. So she's done this sleeve here and this bit here. So she'll have finished this bit. And she's done that sleeve. So she said she wants to try and work on this. She got her hand, because she's doing the two hands joined as well on the black. But she's uh, this is the one that she said she wants to go on. So I said, well, I've got to show Danielle, because she's been asking. That when you do it, can she do it? And Millie's loving it. Really, really loving that. So I said, I've got to show everybody. So that's that. Right, haul. I've got some more. Don't wait. Mm. Cover minders coming in that have to be altered, so I've got them. Oh, not haul. The other thing I've been doing is granny squares. Look at the colour. Not really showing up so well on thing, but this is green, pastel green. Because remember I said to that we we're making um a group of friends from school. So what age am I? 52. So we've been friends 41 years and some of us have been friends probably 50 years since we were toddling. And we're all, because they're all having, uh, some of them are having grand babies. So instead of us all trying to do a blanket, we thought it'd be unique to everybody um, do some squares. And then they're going to mix and match the squares. So each blanket will have a couple of squares from each of us. So everybody is doing some. So I've done two, four, six, eight of them. And I'm going to do eight of them and then send them off. And then we've decided that we're going to 
carry on doing them and probably give them to the hospital for dementia patients and things like that because we we all enjoy it and this is something you can sit and not really think about once you've done one you know you just and I don't know why but this blue thread and I've tried to get it out but it doesn't matter but yeah they're nearly the same size there's a couple so my tension isn't is getting better because there's more that are the same size than are not the same size but the white is slightly smaller so I think the wool is slightly thinner as well but yeah and I'm using this ah oh, sorry guys you're seeing my arm again I know it's a beautiful arm but <laughs> oh not you I was using that because my friend that gave me the wool gave me that to borrow but as you know I bought one of these S same size four mil but I'm finding it's helping me to hold it in the correct place because I was trying to hold it down here like a pen and trying to crochet. So I found with this I hold it further up and I'm finding it easier to actually hook onto that and get my tension a bit better. So I'm using that. Gosh, I'm knocking you flying today. So that is that is all that I've made out of that. Right, haul. This is what my husband bought me today. We went off to get some... Um, Oh, what's it called? Paint. Some of this stuff. Oh, sorry. Some little green National Trust uh, charcoal paint. I think it's charcoal. Is it charcoal? It's food safe paint anyway. Free spoon. And he went in the shop. They're selling material and this was half price. And I'm not going to tell you how much it was half price because I knew he had a heart attack at the half price thing. But yeah. But he did realise... Can you hear that? It is um, like a bit like a. It's not completely oil skin, but it you can wipe it over. I don't. She says it's cotton, but I think it's in between oil skin and cotton. I'm not sure what it is, but it's nice. So I said to him, oh, and then I felt guilty because I wasn't didn't seem very pleased that he bought it. And I should be more grateful because it did cost him over 15 quid for, yeah, and that was half price. And the girl said, don't be ungrateful, he's done something nice, why are you being like that? And they were perfectly right. So, I thought I'm going to try and make some of my project bags out of it and then see. Or I might make, um, I don't know whether to make the vinyl front, but I'm very, very tempted to make um, my fabric ones. But I don't know because I thought if I could get part two different sides of the map on the project bag, it'd be great. But I don't think I'm going to be able to the way it's set out on here. But I thought it'd be quite interesting. So I'm going to have a go. So which do you think? Should I have a go just plain vinyl inside or outside? I think outside. I don't think it's going to feel very good inside. I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. But yeah, you should all don't use it if you don't want it. I said, no, I'm not wasting that. I said, uh, I'm going to use it. So that li literally be white. So that would be good for a good outside bo uh, bag. You know, if you were in the garden a lot, cross stitching or whatever, you could use that. Then I made some little bags because I've run out of fleece. And the fleece, fusible fleece, is what I put on the piece inside. So it gives it a bit of uh, stability. Makes it a bit thicker, can you see? And I've run out of that. And I only had small pieces, well, that wide lengths, where I've cut out the others. So I said to Grandma, I don't. He said, well, make some notion ones, he said. So I thought, right. And I love Harry Potter. So I've made Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, uh, Gryffindor and Slytherin, is it? In them. So you've got the houses on the back and then the inside has got all four houses and again with my heart I'm going to keep it to the heart because I think that's that's just me and then I thought I'd swap them round no I didn't I did these originally didn't I and then I swapped them around to that so I did these two with the bits that I had left over for this because I'm trying to use up the bits of material otherwise it's going to make prices go up do you know what i mean if i only get a certain amount out of the pieces of fabric so i'm trying to find ways so i can use it all up so i don't have to put any prices up because i don't want to because 
you know, yeah, Britain and prices for fabric and fleece and stuff is, and vinyl is astronomical compared to like America and places. I think our prices is between two and three times more than you pay over there for it. Well, that gives you an idea when I said £15 for that metre and it was a half price. Yeah. So, yeah, so I made them. I did make a Marauders map one and I put this in the inside and I had the Marauders map on the outside, but that one's sold. So I'm going to make some more. So let me know what you think. So that's everything. So all I've got left to show you, if you're still here listening... <laughs> Is the number one cross stitch? I that was my slipper falling off. I'm kneeling on that chair. Number one for designs cross stitcher magazine. So we will. Sorry, crinkle, crinkle. Oh god, I can't get it out. Right. Ooh, there's a zip in that one. Hang on, guys. Oh, let me just put that in the bin. Just put that in the bin. Right, so what do, what's the freebie? It is, and I'm in my pyjamas, look. I've come home and I've gone in my pyjamas and it's only six o'clock, so I know it's late. So we've got a uh, picture postcard stitch along there. Part one today, join in your picture postcard sale kit. So it's got it in there and they've also got a little pouch. So a zipped purse kit. So if you want to make yourself a little purse, which I might get the girls to do, there's all your bits and pieces all in there. Now this magazine is issue 371 and it's the summer of 2021 it says. $5.99 this one cost me. So we'll have a look. So I can get you in a bit closer. There you go. That way. So that's your pattern. Because the only thing with this magazine is they don't put the pattern in here. And I really, really wish they put the pattern in here. Because very often you put these separate to the magazines or you lose the magazine. Because um, the world of cross stitch do both. They put one here and they put one in there, which I think is great. So that's your part one. So it says, don't begin stitching until you read the steps to find out where to position this first part on your ADA. So does it tell you how many parts it is? Oh, three parts. So you've got two more parts in issue 372 and 373 if you want to do that. Then you've got the contents, which are telling you what you've got. Sorry, that's my computer. Let me just put it on, on silent of all the different things that you've got in your magazine so you can look and think right I want to go to that page that page that page or you can read it from page to page again you welcome page by Susan and Martin Penny hang on you know me that wouldn't be a YouTube video without suddenly ringing that was Joshua he don't ring very often um yeah right so this is where you have your letters from you they're telling you all different things then we have a stitching by Jess. She always puts one in every week. It's not my cup of tea, her work, but I know lots of people that love her work. And, and actually, this one's not too bad because it's a, a sunflower. I like part of the drawing, but, you know, everybody to their own, isn't it? Then we've got the company Willow Fabrics. They supply a lot of the kits. So if there's something in here that you really like, very often um, Willow Fabrics will have the kit with all the floss, the Ada, everything you need already done, give you a price list. This has been a series that they've had of different rooms. So you can have like a big picture of different rooms or a sampler or you can do it like they've done it, they're framing it. And this was Room to Grow, where it's like a front room with all your plants. Sorry, I didn't tell you. That one's a 56 high by 62 wide. Oh, I like that one. Now let's use that. Right, this is just kitten around. This is designed by Fiona Crouch. It's 50 high by 52 wide. And it's so cute. If I fit, I sit. That is so appropriate. I've got to do that one. I've got to do that one because you all know I've got two 
very special cats, especially in more ways than <laughs> one. And yeah, the black and white one's not too bad of getting in things, but the big cat Ellie, oh God, she tries to fit in everything. Anything and everything where there's a gap that she thinks she can sit in, she will try and sit in. She's so funny. She gets in it and then she can't get out of it. And then it's just telling you the materials, how to do it, how to put your ring on, how you want to frame it after, if you want to keep it in there. And they show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. Just five reasons why you shouldn't miss an issue if you want to become a subscriber. And this one is Coastal Comfort. Can you hear the sea? Our quick to sit stitch seashell cushions will add a pop of coastal style to a summer sofa in an instant. Uh, what's what's the summer? What's that? What's that blue stuff? <laughs> what is it? Tell me. We, we don't get blue stuff like that. <laughs> well, I do say in that. They do say we might get a bit of that blue stuff this next week. So for the bank holiday weekend. So we will see. So this one is 42 high by 42 wide. Each one of them. They will take approximately six hours for each cushion. And they'll list there of all the materials that you would need. And if you want to go on one of their webinars, they said it's time to book. They've got one on the 27th of May and the 10th of June. So, and it's that if you want to, if you're interested in webinars. It'd be like a Zoom call. And this is Bright as a Button. This is by Maria Does, 42 high by 34 wide. And this one approximately five hours of work. So you can make it into a card, put it into a frame for a little girl's room or a little boy's room, whatever. That's quite a little nursery, that's quite cute. Oh now that's now that does mind you of holidays, doesn't it? That is so pretty. Santarina Dreams. We have material packed with everything you need to get your stitching right away and have it delivered straight to your door. That is beautiful. That really does look Greek, doesn't it? So it says it's by Emma Condon, 180 high by 120 wide. And it's going to take you 56 hours, but look at it. Can you just see yourself living there? Well... I could, I'd live there, but or just go in there for a week or two, walking down there, glass of wine waiting at the bottom there for you. Oh, be heaven. Oh, heaven. Then this is summer cuttings. So a little bag to put your scissors in. Sorry, the light's reflecting, but it's dull day today. And if I put, I did put my ring light on, but it made it worse. You couldn't even see the page for it shining. Um, this stitch count is 35 high by 5, uh, hang on, 35 high and 56 wide flap. Oh, right, sorry. Uh, it's this, the, the flap here is 35 high and 56 wide flap. So that's how much the area that you would be stitching then. And on here then is um, 74 high by 32 wide case. So she said to do that and that is about 17 hours of work. It is pretty though, to be fair. That would be nice to do for a glasses case, isn't it? And change this, still have that, but change it and just design two circles with a line down the middle for your glasses. You know, you could do that part, put that in there and then do that part, but swap it round, you know, flip it. So chart it, but flip it the other way around, if you know what I mean. So then that would be in the inside there and then turn it round. Do you know what I mean? So instead of having, if I turned it that way, you'll see what I mean. So you've got that circle there that would be the one side of the glasses. Then you'd flip the design over that way. So instead of being that way, you'd flip it that way and it would join on. Now you've got a pair of glasses. Just say it, just say it. Then we've got the alphabet, which is seaside by the look of it, isn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> Cal read it, seaside. And then you've got loads of different, I'll give you a flip through, see quick, quick look, quick look, and your letters and numbers. 
Then we've got Needles and Notions. I won't read any of them, so you can read all them yourself. Oh, that's nice. Look, Secret Garden. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. And this is... Um, that's lovely. It says it's based on our garden scene makes a great gift for fans of the children's classic the Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. Some lovely colours in it, isn't it? Green. And this one is designed by Susan Bates. It's 171 high by 114 wide and it will take you a total of 82 hours roughly. Now I'm saying that because... If you're experienced, you'll do that in no time. If you're like me, a slow be go be, then yeah, you would find it difficult. Then we've got better together. What whether you're stitching for a wedding, anniversary, or another relationship milestone, you can celebrate with one of these couples cards. Look at that. To the two of you, that is me and Grant because I have to go on tiptoes because he's a lot taller than me. To both of you. And that one down there to both you and the, to the two of you. So you can swap and change the picture but still have the same sentiment after underneath which is lovely. I love that. Oh, we go, look. Giraffes. Look at that, guys. Look at them giraffes. Mama, Dada and the Babas. Mama, Dada. Dad's going to be the short one in this one. And the babies. This is, who's it designed by? Durian Jones, I could have guessed, because it's beautiful and I love her work. 118 high by 88 wide and roughly 24 hours. But I've noticed on here some nice bits of blocking in this one as well. You know, a bit of confetti down this bit. And then some blocking, which is nice, I think. Yeah. So that would be a nice one to do. And again, that can go in a children's room or just on your wall if you like giraffes. Our summer stitching inspiration, what they're finding inspiration from. And then we've got another part to the classic Mad Hatter's, Mad Hatter's, start again, Cal. Mad Hatter's Tea Party Classic from Alice in Wonderland. And this was, uh, this is a three part design. So this is the next part. This is what part? Part two? Yeah, part two. And this part is the whole thing's been designed by Amanda Butler. I'll show you the picture. Yeah. So you've got this part in here this week. Last week you had that. This week you've got that in there. And then to finish off, you'll have that bit there. Yeah. And this is 120 high by 360 wide. Oh, that's a complete design with the three parts together will give you that count. And to do the whole three pieces will be 235 hours. There you are, guys and girls. That'll keep you out of trouble for a while. Oh, my God, when you see it in hours, it's like, oh, flipping heck. Then these ones are where they challenge three designers to do something. And this one is to make scissor cases. Summer, summer look. So the challenge was to have 14 count Ada, six strands of, um, six shades of stranded cotton, which is the colours that they've given there, which are some lovely colours. The rules were to design a summer scissor case. The design should be no larger than a triangle 55 by 40 stitches only the materials above can be used and be creative as possible so you've got the three designs i'll show you a bit closer so that's cheryl's mckinnon's then you have maria daz she obviously likes a good old cocktail and then we have amanda butler is that a bug or is it a tulip I think it's a tulip. Is it a tulip? I can't read because I haven't got. I've got my reading glasses on, but I've got to come up here, guys. Ah, oh, allowing the tulip petals to stand out. So yeah, it's tulips. 
I didn't know, I'm sorry. You're probably looking at it, shouting and saying, how can you not know? I didn't. I didn't know. Then we've got Stitches Spotlight. What's this one then? Susan Penny shows you step by step how to make a zipped purse for the summer. Ah, I like the one that we've got a freebie. So she's showing you here how to do it, but she's giving you a pattern of feathers. So you've got that one. So, but she's showing you, if you didn't want to do that one, how to do the others. And how to stitch it all together. How to make a plaited zip pull as well. So that's nice. So if you didn't like that design, you've got some feathers and who doesn't like feathers? Then you've got your cross stitches just for fun. Your stitch along, which they've been having for this year, is the Grimm's Fairy Tale. I think last year was Alice in Wonderland for the 12 months. And this year is the Grimm's Fairy Tale Sampler. And that's the Pied Piper on that one. I'm not doing that because, yeah, I've got, I've got, you know, I can't keep up with what I've got. And then we've got... Um, how to, how to stitch if you've never ever stitched. All these magazines usually have a section at the back that tells you beginners start here. So you can literally pick up a magazine, find something that you like, get the materials or buy the pack and get started and it tells you how to do it. And on the back it tells you again how to put beads on, do French knots and stuff like that. The next, the, over here they're showing you what's going to be on sale on the 15th of June for the July edition. And it says your bumper summer pack. Sail away luxury card. Your next part in the stitch along book. And that's koalas, is it? No, it's slows. Oh, I'm going to have to get my glasses changed. Oh no, it's bibby slows. That looks bibbies. Can you see the little bibbies? I'm sure I must have been one of those in a former life because I'm as slow and as dull and as docile as them. <laughs> well, they've got zebra cushion coming. Stop and smell the roses or flower name samplers. That's going to be good. Now, see, it's worth getting to me just to get them. And on the back, it's just showing you, again, what you can stitch. So what did you think? Did you like any of them? I liked quite a few. The kitty cat. And the, and, the, and the giraffes. The kitty cats and the giraffes were my favourite. What was your favourite? Let me know down below. Was there anyone that stood out for you? Would you buy this magazine? Do you think it's worth £5.99? As I always say every week, I do it so you can look and decide whether you want to spend your money on this magazine or you look and think, actually, which some of you do. And even sometimes I can look and think, mm, no, actually. Um, but yeah, so it's either buy or no buy now, isn't it? But I'm glad I bought it because I'd like them to. I like this one. I wouldn't do that one because it's too big. I've got too many big projects. I do like the idea of doing it as a glasses case one, though, for my handbag. So I might have a go at that one as well. But I'm prattling on now, aren't I? So drop me a thing down below. Tell me what you think, what you like, what you dislike. Um, if you too shy to leave down below because I do all answer all my comments my social media is down below and you can have a chat on there um, everything well everything you need to know about me is down below if you haven't subscribed and you fancy staying and listening to all my other different videos and I do a range of crafts there's a subscribe button down below we'd love to have you on board and if you like to come on lives and have a giggle I do a live on a Sunday which if you press the notification bell at the side that'll let you know when I am live and it is every Sunday I don't think I've missed many in, in the two years I've been doing them and we do have a giggle <laughs> but I will warn big warning a lot of enabling goes on and um, not by me because I was a good girl <laughs> but yeah my mods do tend to enable <laughs> but good enabling though so <laughs> with that said my lovelies thank you ever so much for for coming and joining me and spending a little bit of time with me i love spending time with you look after yourselves take care and most importantly please 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 stay safe love you all bye